What's going on, guys? Welcome back. We gotta kill an enemy around us somewhere. There's a guy right up here. That compass. Let me he just kill him. Alright. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. I had to kill a little uh, gecko right here. But we are going over here now. Uh, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. I am playing the Honest Hearts DLC. Yeah, no, we are on uh, part... We're in the 70s on parts for this, but if you want to talk about the uh, DLC, I believe we're on part 4 now uh, for the Honest Hearts. So these are going to, you know, I'm not going to breeze right through them like that, but I am going to try to get as much done as I can in each episode so that it is filled up with things uh, that are going on. We're going to go to, if we can kill all the goddamn enemies near us, we can move on to the, let's, let's instantly move on to the Yagwai Cave. Um, I want to kill a few more Yaogwai. That's something I have to do. I also have to just discover everything. It's pretty much just a discovery tangent we're going on. We met Joshua Graham last episode. And, uh, yeah. Okay, good. As long as it didn't hurt me. I was so scared that it was going to break my legs and kill me. Um... Seems like I have to go in here. Up and around and in. Or just discover it like that, maybe? No. Oh, we got a Cazador nest over there. Or just a Cazador. Oh, here we go. Uh oh. They're all coming for me now, aren't they? There you go. That was easy. The worst thing in the game right there. Do not want to deal with that fucker. Um. Here is something else we are about to discover. I don't know what this is, but. <laughs> One bullet. Thank you very much. Burial mounds, huh? Interesting. Looks like a Skyrim tanning rack right there. I was just thinking about uh, Skyrim that as well. Back when medicine smells funny. Guess it works though. Gwen? What's Gwen? I don't know what he's talking about. So the burial mounds right there. Now let's go to the next one over. I don't know, it might be that, but I also feel like I discovered that. So I think it's right here by the docks. And if you guys uh, don't know, I have a very bad habit of just like opening the map and con- Oh wait, we got more of these fucking guys. You can be cool for me. Never stood a chance, did they? No, not against a machine gun, bro. Um. Yeah, no. Uh, so the thing, the context that I got so far for the tribes as well is that they want to join Caesar's Legion, uh, but their initiation is to do Caesar's bidding, which is to take out the tribe that essentially Joshua, who Caesar knows is alive. Uh, well, he did know who was alive, and I guess it was one of his last wills because these guys are still trying. It could also be that they're not aware that Caesar is dead. <clears throat> The clear water docks down here should be another location to discover. Nice. Um, next spot up. Fortunately, I keep missing out on this one. Let's go to this campground and just walk northeast. There's just going to be things, like, I, I want to just, you know, 100% this map. This is a very easy thing to do. Like, I already got enough problems with the, uh, with the main map. I don't want to have to come back here and rediscover stuff. I have to go back to New California in addition. Oh, damn. People are just murking people. Um, in addition, to new, I have to go back to New California and discover, like, a handful of locations that I missed. Oh, Yagwai. Scary bastard. 
Seven out of ten, though, we're at. That's good. Maybe there's more up here. The Sun Sentinels. I don't know what that means. But there's a big horner. Big horners are free, actually. This, oh, this gun makes everything really fucking easy. So, we have gotten pretty much all of this map over here. Now, we've gotten all the map except for the top part. So, let's go to the ranger substation and just kind of travel south. So, I finally get to explore all those taboo places yeah. without the other scout. Oh, excuse me, not south. We're going to go north, in fact. Can't wait. I hear something. Oh my god. Oh my god. 8 out of 10 though. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to fight Yao Guai. Like, I'm extremely happy to fight Yao Guai. Bring him on. I need to get that 10 out of 10. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Okay. I don't know how I'm going to get down this mountain. I could try the old... No, never mind. I'm not going to try the old fallout way of doing it. Unless there's like an answer on this side. It might be a little bit easier over here. What do we got here? It's a guy with a tomahawk in him. And pretty cool. Get off my cliff. Come on, gravity work. There you go. Fuck these people down there. Alright. Boom. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go this way. In fact, you know, it's a, it's a little more content when these uh, DLCs aren't so big and you're trying to do, like, a playthrough. And from, like, a, I want to play this game fresh, like, when Starfield releases, I hope the DLCs are huge because I'll be ahead of the game. But in a way, I feel like in my head I'm just trying to catch up, and, you know, play the... I, I'm playing this for me, but I also want to, like, get it done quick so I can play more stuff for me and the channel. There is something right over here. The Caterpillar Mound. Why do they call it that? The Caterpillar's Mound. What the fuck is a Caterpillar? Have we seen Caterpillars in this shit? It's like a new thing. Oh, shit. You're dead. And your fucking dog's dead, you piece of shit. Shouldn't have fucked around. I guess it's just the name. I do like how all the tribes uh, <laughs> literally mark their territory the, the same way. Up ahead. That's the Sorrows territory. They're peaceful enough, but you don't want to make them mad. Did I already fight these guys? I might have killed one of these guys already by accident.
sweet flower cave. Let's get in there. Maybe there'll be... I don't know. Aw, a pup. Got him. Gotcha. Oh, thank God. <laughs> So far this DLC has mostly been just lots of food on the ground and uh and like two or three weapons that are pretty cool. I'm not shitting on it. It's not bad, it's very good so far. I'm enjoying it. I mean, because it's it's just more time more space for me to discover more XP. Things that give me those little bit of uh, dopamine releases. Whoa. Here we go. There we go. I'm uh, actually almost out of this ammo. I should buy. I should use a shotgun or something. A brush gun should work fine for the situation. Way I heard it, salt upon wounds butchered everyone in New Canaan, and nailed their corpses to the cliffs. I don't know where New Canaan is or what you're talking about, man. Oh, is that it? Can I go out this way, though? No. Okay, I thought maybe it was like a squeeze through. Move, fucking White Legs. Is that his name? No, the White Legs of the Bad Tribe. What am I? I've been calling him White Legs for like two videos. His name is Followers Chalk. I wish his name was just Chalk. I should just call him Chalk. Okay. The Sorrows Camp. You are the one Joshua Graham sent to us. Blessings of the Father in the cave on you. Daniel is waiting for you. A Sorrows Yaogwai fist is a sacred symbol. It shows that we belong to the tribe and have willingly undertaken a dangerous quest to aid the tribe. That's what I've been doing Each the whole time. Each sorrow makes his own. And only after hunting and slaying a Yao Guai that threatened our people, our shaman, White Bird, oversees the rites. Perhaps if you spoke to him, he would allow you to undertake such a quest. <laughs> it's your deal. Waking Cloud is my name. I am midwife to the Sorrows. It sounds ill omen, no? Midwife to Sorrows? The children and the old have already been evacuated from the camp. They are safe enough, unless the White Legs come for us in force. I tend to other hurts and sicknesses that afflict our tribe. Cool. I also scout the valley for the herbs I use in my medicines. Daniel is a wise man and a great friend to the Sorrows. He taught me to speak the language of New Canaan, mm -hmm. the English, from the Holy Books. Holy Books. Yes. The language of the New Canaanites is the holy tongue, for it is the language their sacred books are written in. The father in the caves brought it to them after the judgment, but the ancestors of the sorrows sinned against him. They were denied the true tongue. Six years. He attended the birth of my third child. It was a hard birth. The river nearly carried my water to the father and my child's with it. Daniel knew the ways of New Canaan's medicine. He stepped in and saved both of our lives. After the birth, I asked Daniel if he would teach me what he knew of childbirth. He agreed, and so here I am. That's cool. We have dwelt in the Narrows since the end that came in fire. Nuclear bombs. When the father in the caves punished the world and made us forget the holy tongue. We have had good relations with the other tribes in the valley. At least before Salt Upon Wounds brought his white legs here. We oh. have Daniel to thank for our continued existence. His advice and help has kept the white legs from overrunning us so far. I do not know how long even he can protect us, though. 
He is war chief of the White Legs, and the worst butcher of them all. The tribes he has crushed are many. The warriors he has slain, countless. Have you not heard of the god of the new Canaanites? He is our protector and our judge. He helped our ancestors find their place here in Zion. He gave us many gifts, but we are not to seek him out. His caves are forbidden to us. Those who seek them out are taken from us. Perhaps you do not fully understand the new Canaanites. I have seen the father's images. His holy bride and holy son were given unto the world to save it. They dwelt in the caverns of the mountains, caverns which can still be seen today. The people sinned against him and were punished with the end that came in fire and the loss of the holy tongue. Only the new Canaanites were spared. I'm sure Daniel could tell you more. His knowledge of the father is greater than my own. Okay, cool. Nice to meet you, Waking Cloud. Oh, shit. Damn. That's Follower's Chalk. Cool. Hi. Good. I talked to this guy. Excuse me. What can I tell you? Let me tell you a story. Ugh. When I was a boy, <laughs> a man came through the valley with one of the caravans. Tall man, big mustache, carried a guitar. I asked what he did for his living, and the interpreter told me he was a singer. What is that? I asked. The man explained that he went from place to place and sang for people, who gave him food and shelter and care in return. I couldn't believe that there was a place in this world where a man could do that. I promised myself then that one day I'd explore that world myself. Oh, I hope I could bring this guy with me. I, um, I haven't told him yet. Never had the growins. You'd do that? Sure. Sounds smart to me. He might not get so mad at you. Cool. Tell me about the Syrian Mostly swarm. it's the mountain bighorners. Whole herd of them up on the cliffs there. Usually they're not too aggressive, but lately, whew. My guess is one of the calves got lost somewhere along the way. Bighorners are communal. One missing calf, and the whole herd gets ornery. If that calf doesn't turn up soon, they might very well come down into the valley and attack the camp. Yeah? Hey, thanks. Most of the hunters don't listen when I tell them the problem. Just one thing. Try not to kill any bighorners if you can, yeah? You'll drive the herd off and we'll have to range farther on our hunts. Hmm. You might try luring the baby out with some banana yucca. These bighorners go crazy for the stuff. That's great. I'll help any way I can. Cool. But I want to talk to you about more what shit, bro. What can I tell you? White legs. Nasty bunch. They've been raiding deeper into Zion ever since New Canaan was wiped out. That's the weird part. Normally, the white legs keep to the Great Salt Lake. I don't know what brought them down this far south. What can... Dead horses mark ourselves to commemorate our hunts. When a hunter Sorry guys, I just want to get 100% beast, of this guy's like, when story. When goes on his first hunt, he gets a tattoo. Cool. We came up in the land of the dead horse. Though, why the back when folks called it that, I got no hint. We raided. We fought. We lost. Our enemies drove us back into Zion, and we would have died if it hadn't been for Joshua. Joshua and his Kaisar. When Joshua first came to us, he was servant to a man he called Kaisar. He led his master's armies, and we were ready to follow him into war. Then he lost his master's army to a tribe called Ensiar, the Sunset People. When he returned, he was as you saw him, burned, broken, but changed. 
He led us away from Kaisar. Led us to our own destiny in Zion. That's awesome. NCR, they call it like they have a knee, a full out spelling for it. If it wasn't for Joshua, the dead horses would still be the whipping boys of the Zion Valley. He taught us how to hold our territory, to protect ourselves. He guided us away from Kaisar and showed us how Kaisar would have destroyed us. Our advanced scouts leave chalk signs to mark places rich with game. I'm not a full scout yet, so I follow the marks and guide the hunters. Only a little. I was very young. He was... different. Prouder, yes, but harder, crueler, more driven. Really, I was terrified of him. We all were. When he came back, I almost didn't believe he was the same man. He was humbler. He wanted to protect, not destroy. Little bit. I met some of their missionaries a few times, but I've never been to their city. Joshua could tell you more. Or Daniel, I imagine. We decorate our clubs with them to honor Joshua Graham. They were the weapons of his old tribe. So now, they are ours. Can't say they seem that dangerous to me. But Joshua says they... won the West. That's crazy. Well, because they're our enemies. What else would we do? They take our land, they kill our scouts. They poach our hunting grounds. He's been the chief of our tribe since he came back to the valley. He went off to the civilized world years ago to fight a war. That didn't go well. Well, before he left, he didn't have those bandages all over his face. That tell you something? The only reason I know is when Caesar. I don't know. He doesn't talk about it much. Yeah, that's it. Maybe. But how can two civilized tribes fight over something as small as a dam? <laughs> really? That's... My gods. Must be some mighty civilized folks who built that. <laughs> now, you sound like Joshua. He always tells me that tribal life is better. That I should stay here and forget the outside world. Okay, I'm still going. Okay, I think we're... No... Let's talk about your tactics. No. Okay, cool. Well, hang on. Tell me you got this again. Mostly it's the mountain bighorners. Whole herd of them up on the cliffs there. Usually they're not too aggressive, but lately... Whew. My guess is one of the calves got lost somewhere along the way. Bighorners are communal. One missing calf and the whole herd gets ornery. If that calf doesn't turn up soon, they might very well come down into the valley and attack the camp. You might try luring the baby out with some banana yucca. Okay, cool. Sorry about that little Go. delay, guys. I just wanted to talk to him and like learn everything. What? Surprised I didn't do it before. Oh, I almost shot that guy. Dead horse tribal. I think I've talked to everybody here. Waking cloud. Greetings and blessings. Yeah, I know. Let's go talk to Daniel. That has to be Daniel. The dead horse has told me details about the attack on your caravan. A stranger's sympathy might not count for much, but for what it's worth, I'm sorry. The sorrows will mourn your friends too. They mourn everyone, even the white legs. They have sensitive souls, innocent if there is such a thing. In spite of what's happened, I hope that Joshua and I can help you out of here. But to be frank, we need your help too. Well, I'll be. I was starting to lose hope we'd be able to get any of this, much less all of it. Tribals are smart, but, well, they're ignorant. <sighs> Letting go of a taboo is difficult for them, so I knew it would have to be one of us. Turns out all it took was a gentile, or, uh, no offense, 
These supplies are a godsend. But if we're going to evacuate Zion without drawing more white leg attention, lots of dialogue in this episode. I need yes, you sir. to go back into the valley. Specifically, I need you to scout out some locations for white legs and try to recover a map of Grand Staircase, a wilderness area to the east. There's also the matter of the roads. We're going to be heading out of the east side of the park, but I'm not sure the way is clear. Um. Damn. I appreciate the enthusiasm. There aren't a lot of people in the wasteland with kindness to spare for anyone who isn't kin. Since you've been poking around the valley, you might see more activity from the White Lakes. One of the Sorrows hunters, Waking Cloud, has volunteered to help guide you through the valley. She has a special talent for staying out of sight. After this, it's just a matter of getting everyone out of here safe and sound. And hopefully, you can head back to the Mojave without any more trouble. Daniel's giving you some pre-war mining explosives and a special detonator for them. They aren't useful as weapons, but can be used to collapse certain caves if that proves necessary in exploration. Find a map, do that. Optional, steal the white legs, worship. Okay, cool. Um, let's bring our science can go up to 80. Survival can go up to 82. And energy weapons to 85. Let's go down and pick up just a random ass... Let me see. Certified tech. I want to find one that's like... Yeah, sure. Well, here we part ways. I'm needed back at the Dead Horses camp. Maybe I'll see you there sometime. Sorry. Joshua was pretty clear. Get you to Daniel, then come on home. You can take it up with him if you'd like. Oh, we got a shit out of fucking things. I will. Good gunning, Akis. Oh, I got all this shit back. God damn it. <laughs> I didn't want it all back. Let's see. Uh oh. Ah, uh, whatever. Um. Cowboy repeater. Park Ranger hats. We can merge all these together. Sorrow's outfit. Hmm. Okay. Daniel said oh, that shit. I was to travel with you until you have completed your scouting. Yeah. Is this pleasing to you? Certainly. You should make haste. Walking Cloud is giving you the quietest waters perk wa while Waking Cloud. Oh, Walking Cloud, I was calling her. Waking Cloud is giving you the quietest waters perk. While Waking Cloud is in your party, it is much easier to sneak by the white legs. Their perception is decreased. Cool. Very nice. It doesn't really help when you're outside of here. Hopefully, I can get something else. There you go. Um, boom. Boom. And just in case. 
We pranked a jackhammer right there. Let's see what our quests are like. We got a bunch of them just there. What did I... Now, I... Bring the supplies, you got the Daniel and the Narrows. Okay. So we just got a shit ton of quests. Kill the Yaogwai. Let's... Why is it not available? That's kind of silly. Why, bro? Let's, like, jump kick that guy in the face. Okay, so we got all these missions. I guess I just gotta get out of here first. Let's see if the other quests where they are. Maybe... This is Joshua Graham. What is he doing here? Oh, there's a glitch. Damn it. Who said, raise it, raise in the foundation. O oh, daughter of Babylon, who art destroyed, hap happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou, whatever. It's kind of unfortunate. I can't hear him talk. He's so cool when he talks. You know what it means? Given those two choices, there you go. yes. In the best of all possible worlds, they would just leave us in peace. But they won't. I don't enjoy killing, but when done righteously, it's just a chore, like any other. Practiced hands make for short work, and the good Lord knows there's much to be done here. Happy are those who do the work of the Lord. Zion belongs to God and the people of God. It is a natural temple and monument to his glory. When our Lord entered the temple and found it polluted by money changers and beasts, did he ask them to leave? Did he cry? Did he simply walk away? No. He drove them out. It is one thing to forgive a slap across my cheek. But an insult to the <clears throat> Lord requires... No. It demands correction. I and the dead horses are prepared to do what must be done... ...to protect Zion from the White Lakes. And though Daniel won't accept it yet... ...there are many sorrows who are also prepared. They may not be warriors... ...but this is their home. If you have a chance to speak with Daniel about this... Ask him to consider defending Zion, instead of abandoning it. He has good intentions, but I fear that if we evacuate the sorrows from this place, it will be lost to them, and us, forever. Welcome back. I thought he might. It's been some time since I've visited... civilized places. I don't have fond memories of them. But I have always seen these places from the outside. I'd rather not influence him more than I already do. Why don't you talk to him? Follows Chalk needs more guidance in his life. Just not from me. He's a butcher. Hmm. Believe me, I know the godless fire that burns in his heart. I've been burned by it myself. He's not the kind to let his subordinates do all the killing. No. He likes to have a hand in it, with that spear of his. He's fashioned himself an abomination before the eyes of the Lord. Hmm. I'm happy to serve as an instrument of divine justice. You are kind to offer, but no. There's nothing you can do. We don't use cams, but I learned long ago 
that I'm immune to their effects. It never stops burning. My skin. Every day I have to unwind the bandages and replace them with fresh ones. Exposing my body to the air is like living through it again. But it's better to be clean than comfortable. That's pretty cool, to be honest. Wait. Welcome back. Can I ask you more personal questions? I was born in Ogden, what people came to call New Canaan. Things were more peaceful when I was growing up. When I was a young man, I went out into the world to do missionary work, as all New Canaanites do. I traveled along the Long 15 and followed 89 South into Arizona. Along the way, I met two men from a group called the Followers of the Apocalypse. Edward Sallow and Bill Calhoun. They came to teach the tribes. Calhoun was a good man. Edward was the one who got us into trouble down the road. That's my name. No, not then. Back then he was just Edward. Ah. Smart man. Young, but we all were. We thought we could hike into the Grand Canyon and talk to Blackfoots. We did. And the Blackfoots were friendly enough at first. But eventually... I've thought back to that day so many times. I must have mistranslated. Something must have been mixed up, because the Blackfoots decided we weren't going to leave. The rest is history, assuming Edward hasn't changed it. This way lies the path to hell. Ed... Caesar needed me to translate. Translation became giving orders. Giving orders became leading in battle. Leading in battle became training, punishing, terrorizing. A series of small mistakes before a great fall. And I stayed in that darkness until after Hoover Dam. After I failed Caesar and he had me burned alive, thrown into the Grand Canyon. I survived because the fire inside burned brighter than the fire around me. I fell down into that dark chasm. The flame burned on and on. The next morning, I woke up and crawled out of the northern edge of the Grand Canyon, that cursed place. It took me three months to reach New Canaan. It was as though the prodigal son had returned. They welcomed me like I had never left, never done anything to shame them. The fire that had kept me alive was love. Their love. God's love. I will never be able to repay the debt I owe to them. But I must try. This guy's so fucking cool, bro. I try not to involve myself with matters of the Mojave anymore. All I know is from before the Battle of Hoover Dam. Better than Caesar, but that's not a high standard. Too much love of money and ownership. Not enough love of God and giving. Any society that derives its power and authority from the will of man alone lives apart from God and will crumble in the end. It's... Very cool. Alright, sick. A little bit more. Come on with me, Wake Walking Cloud, Waking Cloud, whatever your name is. Uh, we got more quests. Let's go see. Find a way up the cliffs. That's right over there. Find a map of the Grand Staircase for reason. Let's go to this ca the Morning Glory Cave and go inside and go find this map. I feel like we should have found this map already. But alas, we have not. Let's go get this shit real quick. This cave is not big. We should not be here. This place. It belongs to the Father in the Caves. We must not profane it with our touch. The Father in the Caves. The Holy Father who gave the Saros his succor, and gave the new Canaanites his son. Many of the caves around the valley are sacred to him, and those who would trespass are punished by holy wrath. You speak as one who has not heard the tales, who has not seen the sacred images. If you knew, you would not mock. All right, well, bitch, follow me, because nothing bad's going to happen. 
Just watch out for the bear traps. Exactly. <laughs> Let's watch out for the bear traps and... Cool. Another quest down. Easy as shit. Let's go for another quest. This is exactly why I like when I'm like able to do everything. I like, will discover the locations. Like the only locations I have to discover are in that little like kind of cul-de-sac pocket at the top of the map. And uh oh hey Veronica, I have a new friend. She's better than you. Treacherous Road. So we got three different optional things to kill. Let's find a way up the cliffs, though. Let's go to Angel Cave and uh, just try to go just, you know, a little southwest. Would it be? I don't know if it's up this way or around, but I think... Huh. Huh. Okay, so we have to go this way. that most people outside the valley do not keep to the father's ways. Perhaps mm. when you leave, you will carry his word with you. I don't really want to be a missionary, to be honest. I'm not going to do that. What I will do is uh, completely decimate Caesar's Legion at the Dam for you guys. It's pretty easy. Find a way up the mountains. No problem. Here we go. Find the last mountain. Do not kill any of them. Okay. Man, we're gonna have to do this talk to. Uh, don't, don't attack people. That's Don't attack anybody on the side of the gauge room. That's good. We should have uh, the thing coming up over here. I don't know if this is going to be a calf or not. <sighs> Bitch! What did I just say? Stay here. Okay, go. Cut to be you. Go back to the camp. Yes. You asshole. I'm trying to save the fucking animals you're tribe, and you're the one that's killing them, you piece of shit. Hey, how are you? Hmm, let me see if this is across or up. Do I gotta go up here, though? Don't attack me, please. I'm trying to do good by you guys. I have the Wild Wasteland theme playing every 30 seconds. Let's see where my video is at. Oh, my video is almost done rendering. 45 minutes. The 22nd, 21st episode of the series, so just to give you guys an idea of how fucking long this is taking, or how long I've, uh, ahead of time I've recorded all these. So, here's the baby. Feed it, you fruit. Come over here. Come on, come on back here. I got more yuca fruit, bro. Oh, shit, come on. Come on. Damn, I kind of want to have one of these guys now. 
This is better than any other fucking guy I have. I I got your friend. I got your son. I got your son. I got your son. Come on. Please don't fall off the cliff, bro. Can we wait here for like 12 hours <laughs> until it's sunlight again? Can't stand the nighttime. It looks beautiful, but it doesn't make for like a clear to see video, which kind of is very unfortunate. Cool, come on. I don't think I should have did that, but whatever. Do you stop now? Come on, banana yucca fruit. You love that shit. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Sprint, bro, sprint. Cool. Follows Chalk. He's the next person. I think I gotta ask him two questions. Let's go talk to him real quick. Just kind of throw those away. And I think I don't want to end it here, but is this Follows Chalk? What's Good up? Good job getting those supplies to Daniel. If you were a dead horse, you'd get a tattoo for that. Sure. Hey, I understand. I wish it could have been done different. But at least the calf is back with its herd. Yeah? What did he say? He said that? Well, I guess you have been out there more recently than he has. So, what's your advice? Really? You think so? Who? I'm going to do it. After all this is over, I'm going to go explore civilization. Can I bring him with me? Dankney, Akis. I never would have had the grounds to ask him myself. Sick. Why is everyone getting ready to fight? Get out of here, Veronica. They're getting scared of Veronica. Um. Nice. So. Got a guy named White Bird I have to go talk to. It's funny that a game like this also has like the yes man in it, and it's like I gotta go back and talk to that guy soon. Alright guys, so I hope that I can get this guy to follow me. I like him more than the other one. Um I also think she's around here somewhere. I don't know where, but she's like Is this her? No. Who knows? Let's see. Can I talk to him? What can I tell you? I hope I don't find him dead, like, in a casino somewhere. That would be really horrible. Let's go to the next uh, thing. Actually, we should leave that for the next mission. Let's go speak to White Bird. We'll go back to the Sorrows camp. Just seems like we're going to have to reroute. We'll discover the rest of this, and I think we can end the episode after that. Just because we've done quite a quite a bit of stuff in this one. Just Joshua Graham. He just came back. Can I talk to him about you? Welcome back. What can I do for you? I had heard of him. But when we were preparing to enter the Mojave... He didn't seem relevant to what was happening. From what I've learned since Hoover Dam, <clears throat> he handled the Mojave tribes in a fashion not entirely dissimilar from Caesar. It's too bad. <laughs> Love the sinner. He burned him. What the fuck do you think? Why would I ask that? With Caesar, it's often very difficult to see through all of that sin. 
to the person inside. I can say that we were both lucky that NCR's supply lines and land routes north of Mojave Outpost were destroyed before the Battle of Hoover Dam. Something bad happened near Death Valley, at a place called the Divide. NCR couldn't cut across anymore, and it slowed down the reinforcements. Terrible storms ripped entire companies apart before they even got to Nevada soil. The aftermath of Hoover Dam could have been even worse for Caesar. I don't know for certain, and I don't think NCR knows either. Whatever happened at the Divide was too much for them to handle. Our Fruman Tarii told us what they saw. Only fools and madmen would march into a place like that. All roads wind down to the same spot. The grave. They said all that's left there is a gaping wound cut into the earth. Cursed and damned. No place for God-fearing folk. Not all of them, but they couldn't take 127 North to get around the mountains. As if Death Valley weren't enough, they had the Divide and Big Empty to deal with. From what the Legion's explorers reported, the Big Empty may as well have been a wall to any living thing approaching it. Okay, cool. Well, I, th I just want to keep going through all the speech checks to make sure I'm not missing anything with this guy, because he's so fucking cool. I'm really into it. What is this shit? Oh, just a wanderer outfit. I thought that was a cave for a minute. Wow, he can go up this way. <laughs> I'm like trying to fucking scale and I just see this dude walking up. It's hilarious. Okay, so we got something right here. This is definitely going to be that guy's cave that I have to go talk to. But there's also another cave. Okay, let's go uh, talk to our boy in here and see what he has to say. We'll take everything we can get, guys. Especially if it's free and just sitting on the table. Cool. Oh, there's another one. Amazing. Look at this. This guy got fucking everything. Hey, how are you, Wiper? Hola, outsider. Welcome, child of omens. You come to receive visions of truth? Seek medicine plan. Return with sacred datura root. Receive visions of truth. They guide you. These roots made sacred vision tea. You drink... You see path before you. Ready? Let's do Drink. it. Drink. Tea, tea is strong. strong. Tea, tea is bitter. bitter. Wisdom, Wisdom is strong. Wisdom, Wisdom is, is bitter. bitter. You, you see? see? Yeah. You okay. go to cave. Find ghost of sheep. That's kind of cool, actually. Ghost to rest. This your quest. Bring peace where was strife. Go. Oh shit! I all fucked up. Okay. This is like my vision quest. Let's go do it. Hey, Veronica, I'm seeing you. I'm hallucinating you now. Let's go to the ghost den and just travel down. That's pretty cool now. Now we can just like kind of pop right down. Hopefully the high lasts. Did I take all my weapons with me?
Oh, shit. Did I get the, the Yagwai thing? I did. But I just hear more Yagwais. Uh oh. Get out of here, bro. Just run. Damn. Reload, reload, reload. That's pretty cool. No! Eat the macaroni and cheese. Jalapeno peppers. Uh oh. What happened? Did they disappear? Were there two of them, or was I, am I just tripping out? Is that all I have to do? Let's go back to White Bird's cave. This guy's White Bird, not White Legs. This is a different dude, though. Alright. I know I've only been gone for two and a half minutes, but I'm back and I've killed ten bears. I'm really tripping balls here, too, man. You gotta end this trip. Does ghost of she like quiet in grave? Yep. Then visions of truth are at an end. Will you learn from truth? Maybe yes, maybe no. Only for you to decide. Here, take. Is she's Get. embraced a bear gauntlet? Remind you of visions. Use well. Or sell to cure your traitor. Either way, says much about you. I'm not selling this shit to a traitor, bro. I am fucking tripping balls, bro. Okay, guys. I think this is a fair time to end this episode. Um... Let's actually see real quick what we got. That was like a weird quest that had nothing to do with the ones in the area, but Embrace of She oh, She's Embrace right there. Let's see. Oh awesome, it's a Yagwai gauntlet. Cool. I've been wanting one of these. I want a death claw gauntlet too. Let's see how it works. No, I'm kidding. All right. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. It's been another hour of Fallout New Vegas, Honest Hearts DLC. Uh, we are continuing on. After this, we are going to be probably getting the rest of these little side quests done. Um, I think I could do this in like 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. Uh, and then we're going to continue on with the quest line for Joshua Graham. I keep calling him Jacob Graham. But Joshua Graham. And... Uh, yeah, no, we're just going to try to keep getting shit 100% in this DLC. This is very fun for me. I'm enjoying this a lot. I like that I got a lot of quests all at once. So it's just like shit I can check down. But the next three right here are all part of the DLC. And everything from EDE, My Love, and Down are pretty much part of the uh, the regular game. Or, well, the DLCs. But, you know, everything not associated with this Honest Hearts uh, uh, Zion's Canyon place. So, let's get outside, and then I will save the game. Thank you guys again for watching. Have a wonderful day. Stay tuned. Subscribe, like, whatever you guys want to do. If you guys like Fallout, Starfield, Oblivion, Skyrim, anything like that. Uh, Fable, Star Wars, whatever the hell I'm playing, I'm playing it all. But we are on part 80 or 81 on the uh, the series in general, which includes a New Vegas, uh, New California mod to start the... Uh, the game off then most of the quests in the game i'm gonna say that i got most of them in the base game uh in addition to that we've added on some mods we're gonna be playing a bunch more stuff but this is the first dlc we are doing uh we are gonna go discover some stuff i think that the there's a cave up here we should be doing i'm gonna try out this yagwai gauntlet i just got in the last mission there's no yagwai in the um in the wasteland so the cool thing is that uh, this is like kind of unique to this region, which is dope. I can bring it back to the Mojave and uh, 
fuck some people up pretty much like a bear would. Not in that way. But, uh, yeah, so let's go through here without stepping on anything crazy. Oh, never mind. Is this? Oh, shit. Why are these guys in here? The white legs. Not a big fan of the yellow gauntlet, to be honest. It kind of sucks. All right, let's just do this. Hit him. There we go. I did not know that those were gonna those guys were gonna be here. <laughs> I don't even know why they're so close to the uh, to our boys over here. But that's kind of interesting that they're living like right next door. What is this? Nuts right away. Oh look, some wine. I should have taken that. I feel like these tribal guys are just getting fucked up. Cool. Um, there is still some stuff here. Okay, so let's check out this little thing. We're going to try to breeze through this one right now. Um, yeah, there were some white legs hanging out in a cave that is basically in the enemy tribe's camp the dead horses who i'm with the dead horses that's who i'm siding with but they were just chilling there which is kind of fucking stupid but also funny hey guys cool Now, have I discovered the entire cave? Eh, it seems that way. I don't think that the, uh... Oh, here we are. I don't think that there's going to be anything crazy in this cave anyway. I could be wrong, but... Um, seems that there's another cave right across over here. This is the Glass Chime Cave. We're going to go through all these caves just to get them. In fact, you should take some uh, aid right now. Which is basically a, some stim packs, a squirrel stew. These guys have a lot of crafting supplies too here, so I'm going to be... Oh, god damn it. Dead are you. No, I'm not. Dead are you. I have a great life in hell, bitch. Wait, is it a maze gauntlet? Oh, it's a mantis gauntlet. I thought somebody made a gauntlet out of corn. So no. Uh -oh. um, I fucked this guy's leg up. Bye bye. Civilized world, fuck you up. Ba boom, bro. Blowing heads up and shit. This guy's like, fuck. Should learn how to use this shit. Crap. Um. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Maxim, Maxim, bring that up. Hmm. Radchild, sure. I could do that because I'm actually going to be doing 
um, some of these quests in, I always forget the name of it, Something Falls in the map, the really radiated uh, area of the map. Mm. Let's drop that. We don't really need it. Footsuchi. Ah. We also don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Fixed. No, nope, we don't need that. And then I could just eat a bunch of these things. Including just drinking a lot of wine. Okay, cool. Let's see what we got in this little area that they were hanging out in. Probably nothing. Literally just food. <laughs> that I continue to pick up despite me being on a limited finite amount of weight. Just like, yeah, sure, whatever. Give me that. Oh, hey, how are you? Okay. Wait, did I get that whole cave though? Let me see. No, no, there's more in the back. I think I went the wrong way. Yeah, I went the wrong way. There might be more guys back here. Doesn't look like it, but. Oh. Okay, and we'll take all that shit and all this shit. Is that it for this cave? Did we find it all? Yeah, that's it. Very small caves, guys. Very small caves. Very easy to deal with. Where the fuck am I going? Okay, this is Veronica, still walking home. Like an idiot. Um, there is another cave over here somewhere. It could be above or below me. But I don't know. I think it's up on the ridge. I could be wrong. Let's let's jump down. We could always just come back up. Let's see. Yeah, I think I broke my legs. Should have did that. Let's see. Maybe if I go right here. Oh, let me talk to this guy. I'm glad to see you're still with us. How can I help you? There's an old saying that goes, if you want peace, get ready for war. You've got me figured half right. I'll shoot dead any white leg that tries to creep into this camp. But it's only to protect the sorrows. The Lord helps those who help themselves. But the sorrows don't know how. Joshua and I do. Since I got them into this mess, I need to get them out. There is an important difference between killing in defense and waging war. Even a Gentile like you should know that. Joshua is a living Bible of all mankind's miseries of war. The debt he has levied through his actions, he repays every day. He is a monument both to God's unending forgiveness and to humanity's unfathomable capacity for cruelty. It's written on every inch of his body. When you look at him, do you only see a man of God? Beneath those bandages, he is burned flesh. As he burns, so does he consume everyone around him. Joshua wants to fight because the white legs have stoked the naked flame inside of him. 
You, you see the light, but do not yet feel the heat. I can pray that you never will, but it isn't up to me, and it isn't up to God. It's up to Joshua. Grand Staircase is farther east, deeper into the Colorado Plateau. The White Legs were able to reach us here, but it's only because Zion is close to the Long Fifteen. They can't pursue us east of here. It's too wild. Throughout our history, we have called many places Zion. This valley is full of God's beauty, but it's just a place. Zion is more than this. We cannot use any and all means available just to protect stone and water and a piece of sky. We have to hold on to our faith. Far more enduring. If we sacrifice grace for a piece of land, we may live in this valley, but we will no longer dwell in Zion. It's better for us to leave now. Uh, b -b -b -b. Father in the... Oh, right. He's some spirit the Sorrows used to believe in. Watched over them from the caves in the valley. They marked some of the caves around here because they think they'll be punished for going inside. I think as more of them learn the teachings of the new Canaanites, they'll lose their old superstitions. Oh? Oh. <sighs> of course. How stupid of me. They probably also think Mary is the mother and Jesus is the child. No wonder they picked up on things so easily. I guess it just goes to show how difficult it is to communicate sometimes. <laughs> okay, confirms Christianity. I mean, that was pretty obvious, but just a literal confirmation there. I used to help the Sorrows with various medical problems and general issues they were having, but my bishop sent me here as a missionary. We new Canaanites believe that there is a path to salvation for everyone, and it's important that we set people on that path if they are willing. A spiritual wasteland, yes. We believe that before this life, our souls existed elsewhere. And after we die, our souls will leave this world. During our time here, we have the burden of choice. The choices we make determine where we go in the spirit world and how we will face judgment. New Canaanites believe, as many once did, that God was made flesh here on earth as a man named Jesus Christ. He sacrificed his life to save us. Every sin, every terrible thing that you, me, or any one of us have done for all time was washed away by his blood. We just have to accept his love. That's why we visit the tribes. To spread the good news. For all we know, we new Canaanites may be all that remains of Christ's followers. <laughs> That's actually a better response than I usually get from Wastelanders. No offense. Tell you what. There's a lot going on right now, but why don't you take this? Read it. Maybe you'll hate it. Maybe you'll be bored. But if you have questions, assuming we get through all this, let me know. It used to be my job to answer those questions. Maybe it will be... Is he going to give me a Bible? Scripture. Cool. <laughs> That's an awesome thing to grab. I mean, like, just for collector's sake. My guy's going to get, like, all fucking religious and shit. If you could part with it, healing powder would be welcome. We have enough stim packs for now, but we can't rely on that small supply. Brock and Xander plants can be found throughout the valley, and you might even find some on white legs you come across. Ah, oh, that's great news. We can use anything you can offer. Your generosity is... Uh, well, I, I just can't thank you enough. Damn, that's really good. Um, they're hateful savages who live only to plunder and destroy. Their leader is a devil called Salt Upon Wounds. War is all he knows. Everything he has, everything that tribe has, was taken by force, raiding, and scavenging. It's said there's no man deadlier at close range. That that power fist of his has smashed a hundred skulls. Maybe that's true, but so what? It's a low form of leadership. A tribe that knows only war has no future. And so he'll lead them to Caesar. Okay. Sorrows. No, we don't want you to get up. I'm sorry. My bad. Oh, Joshua's chilling here too. Welcome back. 
Okay, goodbye. I didn't think he'd be chilling right behind me. I want to find the other girl. That's her right here. This has to be her. She has a big neck piece on. Have you reconsidered? Let's go. Let me talk to her. Katubiu. I do. A fine husband and three children. I miss them each day, but I take comfort in knowing they are safe. When we learned that Salt Upon Moons had defiled Zion with his presence, Daniel ordered the children, the old, and the sick evacuated from the camp. My husband volunteered to lead the hunters that went with them for protection. I try not to worry about them, but we have had no news for so long, and Daniel seems sad when I ask him about it. Sad and a little frightened. I don't know why she wouldn't just go and leave the husband. I mean, I guess I don't know if it's sexist anymore to say. Leave the husband to fight here and go with your kids and be like a nurturing mother to them and also be protection because you seem like you're capable of fighting. If you're here. She's like looking over. She's like, you're going to say something? <laughs> Perhaps he will. I sometimes feel he thinks he must protect me. If he has news, I would know of it. A family affair. Cool. <laughs> that was like, why is she talking to me? I'm glad to see you're still with us. How can I help you? What, um, what do you want to know exactly? I'm sure she could tell you much better than I. Oh, well, that's true. Waking Cloud is a talented midwife. She certainly brought more children into the world than I have. But there are some problems she's never dealt with. One of them came up when she was having her third child, and I really didn't do much. I'm surprised she mentioned it. What... I did. Her three children are safe. They made it north weeks ago and met up with new Canaanites heading east. Her husband didn't make it. He died protecting their children from a white leg attack. That sucks, bro. Do not tell Waking Cloud. She is one of the only sorrows who can communicate easily with us, and her tribe needs her to be strong right now. To everything, there is a season. Who are you or I to put this heavy burden on her now? I know, you're right. I shouldn't have hidden it from her in the first place. I just... We can't fail here again. Zion can't become the next new Canaan. The Sorrows don't deserve that. They don't deserve any of this. Sometimes I look at them and wonder if they would have been better off if those old trails had stayed forgotten. If we had never found any of them. <sighs> Tell Waking Cloud if you think that's best. I won't stop you. Cool. Waking Cloud, guess what? Your family, your husband's dead. I'm sorry. Katubiu. What? No. You must be mistaken. Daniel would have told me. How? How dare he? What gives him the right? I thought Daniel was my friend, but he cares nothing for the sorrows. <laughs> Not true. Perhaps. I will have to have a very long talk with Daniel when all of this is over. Thank you for telling me this truth. Cool. Now another quest done. <laughs> We're almost level 50, guys. I can't believe this. Another quest done. A family affair. I believe... That the rest of the quests are actually going to be... Uh... I'm glad to see you're still with us. Okay, cool. Um, I'm, what was I going to say? We're almost done. We are done with basically all the side quests that are available to us at the moment. Um, let's see if we can go. They want us to go there. That's going to be a second. Let's go kill the Yaogwai first at Pine Creek. Go to the Yaogwai cave first, and then we'll uh, work our way back up the ridge and get the rest of them. Yaogwai. Even our strongest hunters could not hope to kill so many. There must be a nest nearby. F 
fighting so many at once is a dangerous prospect, unless you are a truly mighty warrior. This many so close together suggests a nest nearby. If we find it and destroy it, we might have better luck. Did Daniel not give you some of the new Canaanite's fire clay? That could easily collapse a cave and trap the beasts inside. Look around and see if you can find a cave nearby. It may prove easier than slaying the beasts. I hope that is truth and not a boast. I thought that's what I had to do. Hey, I'm just trying to get all the XP I can get. Was she really hiding? Why are you hiding? Oh. <laughs> You're wearing your fucking Yagwai gauntlet. I mean, honestly, you should just use a gun here. I give you permissions to use the taboo. Just use the fucking taboo, bro, so we can get the hell out of here. I guess they're this way. We gotta go around. strange plants in the valley plants that seem to hunger for human flesh where they come from I do not know really okay well wait did I Yeah, collapse the cave. That's what I want to do. I don't know how to without trapping myself, though. So let's just get out of here. I think killing uh, the Yao Guais would be better if I just, you know, went to the thing and did it. The optional shit shouldn't matter too much. I'd like to collapse the cave, but it doesn't really give me a clear indicator of where to collapse the cave. Could it be right here? No, okay, whatever. Maybe it's above us, I don't know. But whatever it is, it's, uh... We're gonna still go kill the other Yaogwai if we have to. Unless I can find where to collapse the cave. Really? Now it triggers it? That's stupid. Come on. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. I feel like they're not giving me really much guidance here. White leg attacks grow more frequent each day. Fuck this, we went outside.
I don't know if they're this down or up. Creek, one of the only ways out of Zion Valley. Watch out. Many dangerous beasts lair nearby. Messy business. I am glad it's over. Oh wow, that worked. River monsters. Okay, so now next one up would be the treacherous road. All by the bridge. This should be pretty fucking easy. We can bang through this, guys. This is the only short path from the narrows to Pine Creek. They will be cut to ribbons by these traps. Disarm the traps if you can, or find the white legs who place them and drive them off. Our advanced scouts should be able to deal with them if they don't have to fight off raiders at the same time. I would suspect you are right. I am right. Perhaps we should try to find them before they lay more traps. Ah! Ow, I stepped in one. Fuck you. Damn, I'm limping. Um... Do I still have a sniper rifle on me? Let's see. Yeah. I've seen one guy walking across the bridge. Who's that? Is that Veronica? Veronica got like, <laughs> Veronica is clingy as shit. There is a problem with this bitch. There we go, ready? I will not let her get that kill. <gasps> you bastard, pull the car. There we go, one. There should be some more. Come on, baby. Uh-oh. I, I wish you could have met my family. You would like them, I think. That's not a person. Oh boy, where are these assholes? Come on, guys. I thought this was going to be easy. So you're all going to be chilling by the bridge. Can't help but feel like I'm being watched. I'll try to get this done before the sun goes down. Come on. Oh shit, that's a big ass Casador. What the fuck is going on? Oh, wait. 
Um, so fucking dumb. Those are traps. I don't kill these guys down here. Most likely, at least. I hope. Come on, bitch. Pull the shaka. Oh, that's a sniper. God damn it. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't fucking paying attention. God damn it. Okay. Alright, the Yogwire defeated. Let's go to the bridge. Up on fucking ch you jackass. This is the only sure path from the narrows to Pine Creek. They will be cut to ribbons by these traps. I would suspect you are right. Perhaps we should try to find them before they lay more traps. Let's just get the XP for this before you step in this shit. Okay, I got anti-material. Disarm. Gotta go in. Disarm. Stop. Where are they? Oh, hey, how are you? Ah, oh, you fucker. Good job. She got him. She had the shitty gauntlet, but she could probably handle herself. Do we get them all? Cool. Let's look at this guy's ammo. We're all, dude, we're ranking up so fucking fast. It's, it's not even funny. Oh, well, I don't have enough. Let's see. Hang on. Um, two shish kebabs. No, she's a brace now. Let's use... Oh, actually, hang on, I have an idea. Where's that, uh, new neotype right? Oh, wait, we can't do it, never mind. 45 caliber submachine gun with another 45 caliber auto submachine gun. Then fucking throw that thing in there, too. Spared about nine pounds now. Let's go to the next quest, guys. We are going to the advanced scouts by Bighorn Bluff. We can't travel when there's enemies nearby, though, which means there's still one of these assholes over here. Oh, it's just this guy. Okay, let's go to... I think we're only missing two more, two locations on this map, actually. Uh, optional wipe out the leg leg camp it's by a big horn bluff seal yeah fuck these guys let's go fuck them up bro and I think that would be I don't know if it's those tents down there that is a white leg war camp do you see the war totems they've erected around the tents no I'm looking at your face white leg warriors pray to them for strength and savagery before battle this is no raiding band
Yes. If their war totems were to disappear, they would likely lose. No, oh, Veronica's here. Nice. Where's the other camp? Oh, we got a little bit. We are. All right, we'll just walk there. Whatever. I hate Casadors so fucking much. Got him level 49 now. Um, let's get this other one real quick. It's merged. Uh, let's drop that. We don't need that one. Neo said with another Neo said, and let's rank up. Bring that up to a clean hundred. Science up to. You know what? Fuck that. Let's bring this up for once. And then travel light. Mm, no. Cowboy. Um, what's so now? Where are we going? Okay, cool. Let's go tell Daniel of the situation. We could also wait till like 10 in the morning or 8 in the morning or something. Okay, let's go find our boy. When salt upon wounds took New Canaan, he ordered the white legs to salt the. I'm glad to it. see you're still with us. How can I help you? I uh, checked on everything. Got you the map of the Grand Staircase. It. Well, that's it. This is all we need. Now all that's left is to quietly pack up and try to get out of here without being noticed. That's assuming that Joshua won't try to stop me, and that he hasn't talked you into fighting the white legs, despite what I've said. Don't worry, I don't hold it against you. You're a... an outsider. Fighting seems like the practical solution. I'll tell you again. There's more at stake. Whether you decide... Uh, whether you decide whether the Tsar should fight or flee, your decision of the, will set their destiny irrevocably in motion. Uh, you will be unable to finish any remaining quest design once you make a decision to choose wisely. I need to think about Keep this. Earth, so nothing could grow again. Do I almost what hit 50 kind now? Of monster could do that? Yeah, so let's half mouse cave. There is one more cave. It's up there. Stone bones. Let's go in here. We we have like 10 minutes to spare. 
We're almost done with the DLC, though, guys. We did really good. We beat this in, like, I started this this morning. <laughs> I put all this time in today and beat this one. I mean, it's not that hard. We're gonna just steal everything we can, bro. Thank you, guys. Let me go in here. Thank you, guys. Let me go right here. Blue fly meat. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. And I think out here, if we go this way. Oh, we can't steal that, though, for some reason. Oh, I gotta go up. Up. Wait. Stone bones. No. Nope. We have one more location, guys. This should be it. If I can get to the cavern or find it, that is. It's just, just somewhere over here, and I don't know how to access it. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Fight. Fight, baby. Fight. 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 Yeah. I don't think I had to do that. I could have just walked around, probably. Oh, my nose is itchy. You got it. Where is this place? God damn it. White leg attacks grow more frequent each day. I fear for our people and for our valley if something is not done. Ow. Stone Bones Cave. Let's go. This is the last location on the map, guys. On this map, at least. It seems like there are a lot of dead people. Probably going to be more of the same. Little tripwire already. Right, if we can get to the tripwire, if you can take this, disarm it. Oh, look at this. There's a lot of shit in here. What are you protecting over here, guys? What are you fucking protecting? Hmm. Nice. There are a lot of traps here. Pass like moonlight on still water. Are these bombs? Okay, did I get everything over here? Oh no, there's a whole nother cavern. Oh, it's this way? Oh wait, what's this? Traps on traps, guys. Traps on traps. Let me let me take a hell. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm gonna walk into a fucking thing that's gonna blow me up. So I let's just get the max. Uh oh. Do I have to drink liquor? Hang on one second. Let me figure out what the fuck I can drop. Like them, I think. I don't know. If something of mine will help you, take it. I hope you would do the same for me. Yeah, I'll give you. I'm gonna give you a shit ton of like big horner meat and stuff. That's that's. What, oh, look at this little area now. That's nice. That's nice. Leather belts. Ugh. No, oh, there's laser. There's a laser gun on the floor. Maybe that's unique. Um, I'll drink the whiskey. That'll help me.
A broken laser rifle? Why can't I fix it? That's stupid. Drop the grenades or run, bitch, run, bitch, run. There you go. Oh, what? No way. Wait. What does it say? What? No way. Oh my god, it's not just another sh It's not just another shitty cave, guys. There's actually something useful here. What's on here? Anything cool? No, just notes. Which are probably cool. <gasps> Helmet! Helmet! Take it, I'll take it all. Now, I'm stuck in a pickle. I don't drink all these waters. I don't care. I could also drop a bunch of shit that I don't need. Probably preferably heavy shit. So right here, fission batteries. Drop all those. Large burn book. Okay, cool. Look at that. What's in here now? I took it all. That's pretty sick. One thing I do have to do is take the shish kebab off, though. Cool. What's this? Oh, I chunk a fish on battery. I didn't want that. Fuck. Whatever. Who cares? Okay. Did I get everything I need in this cave? I don't know. Let me see if... Now I'm nervous that I'm missing stuff in other caves. Because I almost missed that. Alright, this whole cave seems to be mapped out. We can go to the... Oh, fuck. Tripping balls, bro. What's going on? Actually really cool. Maybe I'll just become like a trip... A, when salt upon wounds. a hallucinogen head. So gatherings will tell Daniel whether... The sorrow should fight or flee. They should fight. A hundred percent they should fight. We will figure that out in the next episode, though, guys. Veronica, you... Nah, whatever. I don't care. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We are going to make a big decision in the next episode whether we fight or flee. It's 99.8% going to be fight. I don't see the benefits to fleeing for myself. I'm already going to hell in this game. Uh, and now I got a really unique set of NCR armor. I really want the other style, but I don't know if I can get it without a... I don't know. It's going to be really cool, though, when we, if we uh, are able to get that and have this and do everything. But thank you guys for watching. As always, have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you guys enjoy Fallout, Starfield, Bethesda, every fucking thing guys i always say the same thing you know my whole spiel by now if you guys watch these videos through uh have a wonderful day guys thanks for watching what's going on guys welcome back to another episode of fallout new vegas so there is a thing that i missed in the last few episodes uh we only i just started playing this yesterday and i'm literally on the last mission so i'm just kind of going through a list and seeing what i have to do i have to go to the zion general store and find the snow globe that is over here um it apparently is inside this store right here and it is going to be behind the counter with the cash register on it, the bottom shelf. So we missed this. I'm surprised we even missed this. I thought we got These it. Are places of the time so before. bottom shelf, there we is it. Not be here. It is forbidden. Yeah, there it is. Beautiful. Like you found a limited edition Mojave. Yep, added to my collection. Water. And I got 2,000 bottle caps. That's amazing. Um, okay, cool. So now that we've done that, I think that we can, I want to I wanna just make sure, I'm going through on the wiki 
the things that I need to get in order to 100% this DLC. So I don't have to come back. There are things that I'm going to miss uh, apparel-wise. Um, really just comes down to crafting and you know all that shit. But uh, let's see how much I actually have on me. Yeah, so uh, the next step before I go back, and here's Veronica. Oh, and we added a mod where Veronica's hood comes off. So, thank God, Veronica has a little more personality than looking like a stupid fucking Ewok. She's a little jealous, you can tell. She hasn't been looking at me since uh, Walking Cloud, Waking Cloud has been coming. Even Waking Cloud knows, look at this. That's fucking, yeah, that's my ex. Alright, anyway, let's go. Let's get over to uh, the... I want to go to... I'm doing my last few pit stops before. Southern Passage. There's apparently an enemy nearby, of course. There's always a fucking enemy nearby. And it just so happens to be a shitty scorpion. So let's just get one of these going. And a, he's he is gliding, this fucking guy. There we go. Oh, and now apparently there's more that are mad at me. But... Let's see if we can just get all the way over here. More enemies nearby. Here they are. Oh, where are they? I love scorpions that come at me because they're the easiest to kill. Or I want to. Oh, he went behind the hill, right? Of course. There we go. Let's move on. They just walk in a straight line like idiots. Um. I don't like to linger in this place. I'll fight you if I must. Damn, what is it? The whole fucking Noah's Ark coming let's at me, bro? Are we good? Yeah, let's move on, please. I don't Thank you. In this let's place. go. Okay. So now, I'm gonna go all the way over here. Looks like the bodies have been cleaned up. I guess they degenerate after. Oh, no, wait, wait. We got one right when here. Dread Masterson. Upon the took New Canaan. He ordered the white legs to salt the earth so nothing could grow again. What kind of monster could do that? Fucking efficient monster. Uh, get rid of all this stuff. We're gonna get rid of most of the stuff, to be honest. We don't need any of this. Mantis gauntlet. I think that's what I'm using right now. I'll keep a few of those. She's embraced. The shish kebabs can go. Kind of want my sniper rifle. Uzi War Club. Hmm. Cool. So the whole point of me putting things here is that the entrance to the Mojave is literally the Who the fuck's that? Well, that's Veronica. Look how creepy Veronica is. Holy shit, she's being so weird, guys. Let's go check out Veronica and see how fucking odd she is. Veronica? Veronica, you're not supposed to be here. I have followers. Don't, what's your name? Waking Cloud with me. Veronica? Ah! You dirty bitch. Ugh. Sorry. All right, let's go. Veronica, stay here. Guard the entrance to Nevada. Whatever. How beautiful this is. Wow. I'm going to kind of miss it here. I've only been here for a day. I think I, I hope I can come back. Let's go to the Sorrows camp, guys. We've dropped off everything. Veronica's probably just going to pop up right next to us now. Guarantee Veronica's here. There she is. Hey, how you doing, Veronica? We're in a weird glitch where she just keeps popping up. And then she proceeds to, like, walk ten miles that way and start punching things. And I'm <laughs> getting credit for it. So, we gotta go find this dude. Here's Joshua. Just walking through the river. Like Welcome he's... back. Let me see what you got. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. We don't really. We gotta find uh, our boy.
And yeah, I mean, in this DLC, guys, we've done pretty good. We did almost, we did every cave. I'm like fairly confident. We're missing. Speak of the devil. We're missing two weapons, I believe, which include uh, Joshua Graham's unique auto pistol, which looks really cool. In addition to that, we're also missing Salt Upon Wounds, Speak of the Devil part that I was saying, his Power Fist, I think it is. And uh, we're going to go tell this guy that we think that these guys should fight. Because we do. Unless you and Joshua have any objections, I'd like to start evacuating the Sorrows. Uh-uh. I'm going to need your help, so... <sighs> no. Why? Why? Haven't you seen enough of what's going on here to see that the Sorrows don't need to butcher the White Legs for a piece of land? What Joshua wants is more than an attack. He wants a slaughter. And he needs more than you and the dead horses to do it. The Sorrows can't be pushed into this. You and Joshua don't have the right to force them into it. Please, consider what I'm saying. I've already explained to them that we're leaving. They've accepted it. What is Joshua going to tell them about being a warrior? What are you going to tell them about how to live with themselves after they got lost in the moment, killed someone who didn't deserve to die? Or does that not matter? Is that just an acceptable consequence if it means holding on to this valley? Maybe there is no place left in this world for mercy. But even if it tramples me into the dust, I will never accept it. And I will never condone it. Joshua must be waiting for you. I'll stay here with the others as I told them I would. That's yeah, cool, whatever. Apparently I had to carry all her shit now, too. Thank you for this. I know Daniel doesn't approve, but destroying the White Legs is the only way to ensure the Sorrows can remain in Zion. You and I will lead a group of Dead Horse Warriors and Sorrows Hunters into Three Marys from this position. Our objective is to find the White Legs leader, Salt Upon Wounds, and prevent him from fleeing. Show no quarter to the White Legs we come across. Make no mistake about why we are here. This is an extermination. Cool. God be with you. God be with you. Peace be with you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay. <laughs> Joshua Graham is giving you the way of the Canaanite perk. While Joshua Graham is in your party, any 45 caliber auto pistols you use as less spread and is twice. Oh, shit. I should have left that pistol with me. Did I? No, I can only have the sniper or whatever. Okay. Um, here's Veronica. I don't know where we're going. Where should we go? Oh, wait. Did I not discover this? I mean, this has to be a... This has to be, like, you know... Fast travel is unavailable from this position because I'm in the water. Okay. I guess we have to run there. Whatever. That's cool. It's kind of a long way, but... Maybe I should have just stayed in the river, to be honest. Is Joshua following me? Alright, let's just go down the river. Not really incognito with a flame or a sword, bro. Over here. Oh, shit. Oh my god, how fast does this guy fucking swim, bro? Thank you, Veronica. Veronica, stop, stop swimming with this guy, Veronica. The water. Alright, whatever. There you go, thank god. That's a bunch of this is a waste of ammo. Uh oh. 
Well, this guy has some kind of gun that I want. You've called down the wrath. Dang. All in a day's labor serving the good lord. I want this guy as a fucking partner, I'm not gonna lie. to go under and around. I love Joshua Graham. That'd be crazy if you can... If I can get him as a follower and bring him back to uh, Caesar or the Legion, I'm like, oh fuck, this guy's still alive. Maybe I'll even follow him. That'd be hilarious if, like, Caesar's Legion, the murderers, rapists, ravengers, whatever you want to call them, they all turned into Christians. <laughs> Brush gun. I'll just take your ammo. We don't need your gun. Let's cross the bridge, Joshua. In fact, I'm kind of sick of this nighttime bullshit. I know it's supposed to be stealthy and it's supposed to, you know, be part of the mission. But fuck the mission, bro. I just want to see things. I have no... We, there's no tactical advantage. You have me. I am the tactical advantage, bro. Where are these guys? Uh-uh. Ready? Oh, shit. So you... That's the tactical advantage right there. So what we're going to do, every time we pick up a weapon, we're going to kind of just merge it with itself. We got some more coming. I hear that rattle. Be an animal, though. How far are we? Okay, we're right, we're kind of right there. Hmm. Fast travel yet. I was hoping I'd be able to take um, followers chalk with me. The man I was calling the wrong name for hours yesterday. Uh, yeah, he seems like he wants to go and see the outside world. And I just want to come and corrupt him in Vegas. What the fuck was that? Oh, it's starting to rain. Oh, that's cool. Oh shit. Cool. We're almost at level 50, guys, which is the game's max level. Um, that being said, there is no level cap here. I turn. Well, the level cap is 100. So, I put that on because we have a lot more than just the traditional game. As in, we've already done an entire DLC before the story 
uh, took over. The main... So, let me explain this this way. I did a DLC, or a mod, called New California First. Obviously, if you guys have been watching for a while, you know. Oh, shit. Here we go. And, um... <sighs> The mod is basically like its own mini game, bigger than this even. Um, new map, new everything, really cool. But uh, the thing is that it's not really rewarding to like not level up. Like I want to be able to level up the entire time that I'm like playing this game. So, oh, anti-material rifle, fuck yeah! Where'd you get that shit? So part of your tribe's history. Um. Yeah, I want to be able to level up beyond, like, where I am because I have so much extra content that I'm ha going to have to do. Like, if I just max out a 50, it's going to feel like, oh, well, you know, there's no dopamine release. I want the fucking dopamine, guys. Give me, let me just have it. Let's eat this yucca fruit. Okay. The three Marys. Joshua. There's not even a tribe with us. What are you talking about, bro? Good guy here. Enough. It's crazy how easy you run through these guys at this level. I want more. Must have already been here, yeah. Alright, so we want to get up there, which seems to be right over here. We might as well swim underneath and go up and around. Yep, there we go. What the fuck was that? Why? Where's Joshua Graham, bro? They killed Joshua Graham? No, they didn't kill him. I don't know what happened. God damn, Veronica leave, you weirdo. Fuck off. Apparently I've been in here. It's still raining. But wait. Let's wait like five hours. I'm sick of the rain noise in my head. There you go. Ah, you fucker. One more hour. I don't care. I'm waiting in this cave for another 11 hours. I don't care. I don't want it to be raining in my ear anymore. Ugh. So annoying. 
Okay. Jesus, fuck you, Rain. I just pissed he wanted to kill him. <laughs> Stand here and hopefully that dynamite explodes. I've seen dynamite in his hand, but maybe he didn't mean shit. What is this? Weird. It's like a fucking clock. Like I can understand like why there would be a clock like on the floor in the middle of the store, or even in a town, or outside of a town, but like in the middle of like, over here. Uh oh. They ran into a fucking bear trap. I heard it go off. Now I ran into a bear trap like an asshole. Where'd Joshua Graham go? That's my question. Oh shit. Let's see where this is on the world map. I guess it's in the water. Seems like it's in the water still. Hey guys. Okay. There's lots of... What is this? What's going on? We warned you at Syracuse, and you persisted. You took advantage of us at New Canaan to drive us out. And like the dogs of Caesar you are, you followed us to Zion. And now you stand on holy ground, a temple to God's glory on earth. The only use for an animal in our temple 
is sacrifice. Kale Wachene conserva O. You understand me, don't you? Don't you? Out man. Kunaman mad. He kill all white legs. You talk. You stop. <laughs> so fucked up. Yeah. You can no nikumpa me. They are you. Nikumpa. You like that? Nice. Uh oh. Finished. It's the same end he would have met if he had died on his knees. But I suppose this was for the sake of the dead horses and sorrows. Still, thanks to your help and the grace of God, the White Legs won't be troubling Zion anymore. Cool. Let's go find Daniel. Tomorrow we'll be here soon enough. And there is much to do. Sick. Okay. <laughs> There we go. We got another thing down, guys. Unarmed. Let's bring that up. 50. Uh, science can get five. And then. Hmm. Sure, stay back. What happened? And so it was that the conflict nice. between the two Canaanites and the White Legs was finally resolved. The courier's involvement had tipped the scale, shifting the fragile balance of power. Despite their defeat at Three Marys and the death of their war chief, the White Legs were determined to pursue the other new Canaanites. But when they finally tracked down their prey in Colorado, they discovered the tables had been turned. The White Legs who survived the new Canaanites' ambushes were hunted down by dead horses before they could reach the safety of the Great Salt Lake. When word of the White Legs' diminished numbers reached the 80s tribe, war was declared. And by year's end, the White Legs had been wiped out. The Sorrows fought beside Joshua Graham and the dead horses, eradicating the threat the White Legs posed to Zion. When the courier and Joshua Graham felled salt upon wounds, their victory was celebrated with a great feast. The Sorrow's transformation from a peaceful, timid tribe into a proud and warlike people broke Daniel's heart. He tried to take solace in the knowledge that they would remain in Zion. But it was a small comfort. The Sorrow's innocence was lost. Having helped eradicate the White Legs from Zion, the Dead Horses returned to Dead Horse Point in triumph. They remained neutral toward the Sorrows, but as years went on, there were periods of competitive friction, even violence between the tribes. The new Canaanites, Daniel especially, intervened regularly as mediators but found it difficult to reconcile the tribe's conflicts. The defeat of the White Legs and Zion marked a turning point in the fortunes of the Happy Trails Caravan Company. Every two months, the caravan met with the new Canaanites in Zion Valley to trade. Happy Trails soon returned to prosperity. The vigilance of the sorrows and dead horses in defending southwestern Utah, initially startling to Happy Trails caravans, soon proved a blessing. The tribes united against the 80s, driving them back from Highway 50, and thus opening yet another trading route for Happy Trails caravans. Follows Chuck took the courier's words to heart and decided that he would behold the sights and sounds of distant lands. Good, I'm happy about Follows Chuck. After returning to Dead Horse Point, he quarreled with his family and other tribe members about his ambitions. 
One morning, they awoke to discover that Follows Chalk had set off alone, westward, into the wilderness. He was never seen again. Waking Cloud was distraught when she learned of her husband's death, but took comfort from her tribe and the compassion of the new Canaanites. She forgave Daniel for having concealed her husband's fate from her and learned to accept his fate. When her grief faded, she took a husband from the dead horse tribe. At her bidding, he stayed close to home. Though the courier had stopped Joshua Graham from executing salt upon wounds, the war chief still fell in battle. That's how it should be. The White Legs defeated at Three Marys. Joshua led the sorrows and dead horses, intending to their comrades and burning the corpses of their foes. He continued to advocate militant opposition to the enemies of New Canaan and showed little quarter to those he fought. And yet he was changed. He no longer reveled in the brutality and cruelty for which he had been known in his former life. His inner demons, if not extinguished, were at the least appeased. For years after the defeat of the White Legs, Daniel did his best to minister to the Sorrow's spiritual needs. Try as he might, he could not hold back the tribe's increasing militancy and reverence of Joshua Graham. Demoralized, he returned to his family and Dead Horse Point. His failures haunted him for the rest of his days. And with that, Bitch. the courier walked out of the history of the tribes of Zion and back to the gathering storm of the Mojave Wasteland. Okay, guys. Seems like we have done it all. Let's go see if our bags are still here. I really hope they are, because it's all my shit. Yep, all the all shit's right here. Um, Let's go get Veronica, because Veronica, who is creepily staring over here, will actually be able to... No! Went the wrong way. Go back, go back, go back. Oh, it's that easy. Oh wow, that's awesome. What's in this footlocker? Oh, we got the weapon. Oh, what? Nice. Okay, so they give us anything anyway. Where the fuck is Veronica, bro? Oh, she is. She's just walking into it. She's about to kill herself. No, Veronica. No, Veronica. Okay, we're back together. What's up? Follow me. Hello. Cool. Okay, so Veronica's with me again. Uh, you're gonna have to carry a lot of stuff. Awesome, guys. Awesome. We should bring this guy back and bury him. Alright, Veronica, listen. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Veronica, I'm giving you everything I can give you. It's not going to work anyway, so what am I doing? Let me just actually a great idea well guys okay we're gonna walk back thank you guys so much for watching uh happy what is it called honest hearts with me or playing honest hearts with me uh we're gonna be doing the other dlc soon we're gonna go back to the wasteland see if i can think of anything between this video and the start of the next video that we have to do i know we have to go to um the bottom, the most uh, southeast part of the map in the radiated town where I think there's a shit ton of ghouls. So we might do that. Ooh, Veronica just like looking at this guy. <laughs> She's like, fuck, dude. I don't know how this shit happened. Um, yeah, no. So we're going to be doing uh, some more stuff in the wasteland after this. And then we'll take a video break and then we'll start the next DLC, which I think should be the Sierra Madre. I think chronologically that's what makes sense. Sierra Madre, Old World Blues, and then the Lonesome Road will cap off the uh, DLC journey of this. Following the DLC journey of this, we are going to be starting Fallout the Frontier, which is an entire mod that takes us to a totally new map, probably the size of Fallout 3's map which is awesome, and it's a totally different terrain. It doesn't look anything like this. Much more north. It's in Portland, actually. Um, and then following that one, we are going to uh, go do the end game quest, maybe some more mods. I do have the FPGE, the Functional Post Game Ending mod on, so I can continue 
through the story. Um, all in all, we'll probably get to over 100 parts in this series before we kind of slow down the roll. But until then, guys, it's full fucking steam ahead, as always. You guys have a wonderful day. I'm going to slowly tread back to the, <laughs> to the wasteland. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Simple as that. Look at that fucking you. Forgive me, mama. Have a great day, guys. Bye.